I love cameras what? Like a fat boy loves chocolate like cake <laughs> All the camera loving people, welcome to the Mijonju Show where we talk about super cool cameras. Do a cool person. This is Orwin, by the way. Today we're in uh, Impossible Project Tokyo Space. Today's main point is I want to show you guys uh, kind of like a tutorial, the process of how you shoot an 8x10 with our new Impossible PQ film. PQ film, 8x10, the ISO is uh, 640. Yep, I'm just going to unbox it to show you what's inside. And so come over here. So this is the unboxing. You don't really need a tutorial for unboxing because if you don't know how to open the box, then you know. Okay. So what's some important keys that the photos dry thoroughly and keep the processors roller the rollers and the processor clean and a bunch of stuff like that. Let's check out the box. What's in the box? There's two stuff in the box. Very simple. A negative and a positive. Okay, so Try to keep the positive bag um, closed most of the time, not because it exposes to light, it's just that you don't want anything to fall off and hit it because this is the most sensitive thing on the package. As for the negative, just, uh, you can open everything up if you want to or just keep it nice like that. Right. Uh, before we take a photo, we have to load the film, load the negative into the, the holder, sorry. Okay, you see, some of them is not in orange. I think I've seen um, black ones, white ones, and blue ones, but this one's on, in orange. What you do is, you see this part, which is at the back of the, of, of no, like, you know, where there's no words. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you put this thing over here, in, into the, 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 the orange tab. In this case, this is an orange. Sometimes it's in blue and black and white, like I said. So put it, you put it in. Okay. And when it's in, don't don't try to move the thing or you know try to you know clean. If there's any dust here, try cleaning it this way instead of cleaning it this the other way. Because once it's clipped here, it breaks the glue that holds it up. So don't move this up and down. If by accident somehow something dropped here, sweep it backwards and not this way. You don't want your negative to be exposed. At all. What what you do then is you close. Okay, make sure it's clicked and make sure it doesn't fall off. What pe what people will do is that they will pull this out with one hand, which there's no real right way or wrong way of doing it, but um, it's not safe because like when you, you know, when you scan something, you put it in the scanner, if it's sideways, you just crumple the paper on the, you know, on the edge. So you don't want that to happen. What you can do is, lay it like this. You see this part is not leveled, so it's good to, you know, block it. What you do is you pull it out like this, so it's straight. Okay, I learned this technique from a Singapore friend from 36, so thanks to them. Now, as you saw, I took this, which is actually a black bag. Okay, so the negative was actually attached to this part. And so right now, the, the, the negative is behind this dock slide, which I don't want to slide it out, obviously. So there's this big piece of negative behind this dark slide, which is really, really cool. This, you know, negative that's this big. Like, and for today's camera point, this is the deer off. Deer go off and sun camera and Nikon W lens Opel 3 shutter with aperture goes from 5.6 to 64. And it's an 8x10 camera. And we got this from the National Photo, Japan, Tokyo. And a shout out to them, thank you for lending us the camera. We'll take good care of it. Just want to show you guys the bellows. That's how it kind of looks like. Okay. There's actually many steps to it. Probably would not go into depth for that because every lens has its own. Structure, not all large format Opel shutter are the same. So, so this is how, how you open up a lens so you, when you're looking for the image. And uh, they have uh, luckily an, an X PC sync for me to fire my strobe. Today I'm going to take a picture of Erwin, the famous photographer. These large format lenses, they usually have a lens board. And I'll show you this one. It's a pretty cool show. Okay, this is how it looks like. And release shutter so that you know it's it's let more stable instead of uh, you can actually click the shutter from here like that but you know you actually move the lens so it's better to have it here right on the 
これも入ってるというね。I'm just gonna get a focus, get Erwin to pose, set some tilt and shift if he needs it. He looks like he doesn't because he's got nothing in front of him. Or you know, two or three people together. So I'm just gonna get the right aperture and the right shutter speed. And basically, yep. Can you look up? Yeah, look down a little. Okay, you look handsome. That's good. Okay, bye. Try to smile. Don't look so sad. Just many different. Let me remind us the flash mat L three hundred and eight S. Sounds like a like a like a like a sex. I set it on this. The it's like you know when you put this PC mode here, click on it, and it gets you a reading. Uh, in this light condition, when you're using the shutter speed, it doesn't really change anymore, unless you know. For this camera, I think the the the, ha the fastest syncing speed is up to 60, so anything under that is just all perfect. And one more, uh, I want I actually want to shoot this at eight. And uh, it's actually a rule, which uh, you don't have to really apply it this time. But when the bellows gets longer, the aperture number has to drop a little, which is kind of like a, a rule. Don't forget the ritual. I call it the ritual because it has to be, it has to be right. You cannot make a mistake here. Okay, close the the shutter. I mean, close the, the lens. Cock, cock it. If you don't cock it, your shutter won't go off. This part is okay if you somehow forget it, but this is very important. If you don't close the lens, it will be on bulb mode forever. And you know, the moment you put that back on it, the moment you pull the dark slide out, you're actually you know, taking a picture already. Okay, so setting for just now was uh, 32. So here's the aperture. Yeah, yeah, this is 32. Perfect. Okay, so uh, make sure your shutter is connected nicely. Put the PC sync back. Don't have it on your um, light meter because it won't make sense anymore. Put it on the put it on your lens. Okay. Try not to move the camera. So this is a very important step that you have to remember. This part facing out, okay? Because this is where the dark slide comes out. So uh, if, if there's a word here, just face it backwards. You really don't want to pull the negative and the negative is actually taking a picture of your own face from the ground glass, which is ridiculous. Okay, so now you load this in. Make sure the model didn't move. It was just as it was just now. Okay, and then take the dark slide out. to the blue point there. Okay, and then try to direct the model a little. Expression, you can point it up to him. Uh, Erwin, try to, don't, don't move too much, just try to smile. No, now you look like Borat, for real. Okay. Then it's done. The point is, once you took the shot, put the dark slide back, because you have to take the, oh, go ahead, because you have to take the holder out like this. Okay. Right. Next step. Is it good? Always make sure you have a clean processor because it's really important. This is how you unlock it. Okay. And uh, make sure you clean the rollers. Make sure there's no leakage from your previous shots. Okay, clean it. Uh, dry it. And I make sure the inside is clean as well, like places here. This is where it usually sticks. Okay. Make sure it's clean. Put it back, check the back. Okay. Places like the inside here as well, just make sure it's clean. Remember. Okay, so when it's back on, lock it. And one side. Second side. Next step. A positive. This is a positive. It's actually where all the chemicals are. Try not to touch this with your hands, you know, like the, the transparent part. Try not to touch it with oily hands. So uh, lightly, gently, and this is what you do. You put it in here, like this. Okay, this. And get your holder, the holder that you took a picture with. The word face facing you. Put it in like this. 
Okay. And okay, make sure it's tight and in. It has to be like perfectly in, right? And then press this button. The moment you hear like chung, it should be out already. So right now, the negative and the positive has turned into one piece, and it's in this area, which you, which I can't show you, which I, which is inside, because uh, you know it's it's waiting. And I also set the timer to four minutes because it's a black and white. And once once the machine beeps, then we can open this part up. And uh, it's it's four minutes right now. It's time to review the thing. Maybe I'll get closer and check it out. Review the photo. Okay, so here's the negative and, and the positive. It's the photo. Okay. Voila. Oh fuck, dude, that's fucking sick. Your voice is in it. Voice. <laughs> that's right under the light. So uh, the cameraman holding the camera right now is uh, is Orwin. So he's commenting on his own photo. And this is how you do it. Oh. This entire process, if you have any questions or anything you don't understand, it's like, well, what, what was he doing at that very second? Just leave a comment down at the comment section down there and I'll try to answer you with text. Yep, there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's Mijun Show. I'll see you next time. I'll call the shutter. Bye-bye. Again, people are talking about 35 millimeters. It's this big, right? This freaking, oh, I shouldn't say the freaking. <laughs> this is an entire negative. Imagine that in digital form. Jesus. <laughs>